It is now 5.03. You know, college students have faced unique challenges. We all really yeah. have during the last two years of coronavirus. And May's Mental Health Awareness Month, so we're highlighting the need for resources and for intervention. Mary Jane Belieza joining us live at the College of Southern Nevada with more on some of the help that's available. So important, Mary Jane. Oh, Heather, absolutely. And according to a 2021 Mayo Health Clinic report, an upwards of 44% of college students report symptoms of anxiety and depression. And college students are working to break the stigma surrounding mental health. College student Nyla Marquez says that she's basically transitioning from online classes to in-person instruction, which proved to be a challenge for her during the pandemic, citing low motivation and feelings of loneliness as the main areas of concern. While Marquez identified these stresses early on and knew reaching out for help is important, she knows it's not as easy for everyone. It, it sounds kind of corny, but it's like you're not alone. There's a reason why there's Mental Health Awareness Month and why there's different services available. You know, it's always best to um, try and help yourself first because your mental health matters more than just like some assignment that you need to do or any like job that you need to work for. Marquez says developing a strong support system is key, even if it means reaching out to your fellow teachers and students on campus. And if you're in need of help, both CSN and UNLV offer CAPS, that's counseling and psychological services, free of charge for students. Reporting live at CSN off of uh, Charleston and Torrey Pines, Mary Jean Boyeza, live local now.